One of the best and one of the worst days in my life at the same time was... It's August 15th, 2023. Luke Combs is in Australia out on a tour. He wakes up at 8 a.m. to see a text from his wife saying, I'm so sorry. I really tried to not have the baby while you're gone. God, it sucked. I got to see him be born, which was awesome. He wasn't born yet. He is seemingly alluding to a FaceTime with his wife. But my wife went, uh, she texted me on the way to the hospital. And he was two and a half weeks early and I was supposed to be home. And I wasn't. Luke and his wife decided that he can travel to Australia and be back before the baby comes as they had a good support system at home with close friends and family. But the baby came two and a half weeks early. It's a decision that Luke regrets to this day. Not being able to be next to his wife at this moment really hurt him. He recently released his latest album, Fathers and Sons. And Luke Combs, the father, tells you a lot about Luke Combs, the son. His humility and success and a family first mindset is an outcome of how he was brought up. And Luke knows that he lucked out with his parents, Rhonda and Chester Combs, while his parents are often seen supporting him at his concerts. Very little is known about the two. So let's find out a little more about the Combs. We might feel stardom is all about mansions and flashy cars, but Luke only had one thing on his mind. Two, actually. He bought himself a new truck, and more importantly for him, paid off his parents' mortgage. Rhonda and Chester moved to their house in Asheville when he was just eight and they continue to live in the same house still. I mean, obviously my parents work super hard, um, you know, to give us everything that we needed. You know what I mean? I wasn't, I was definitely not a kid that got everything he wanted for sure. But buying a house for a middle-class household is not easy. And Luke Combs upbringing was as middle-class as they come, always told to not live beyond his means. Like most of us, his parents had to toil at work. Um, but my mom's worked tirelessly, I mean, two jobs ever since I was born. He was a maintenance man at a, at a college, you know, nothing, nothing crazy. And they saved every single dollar to buy what was their dream house. We've always lived super within our means. and We never had anything that we couldn't afford. Good for them that their son had even bigger dreams as after paying off the mortgage, the next thing on Luke's to-do list was to see them retire from work. His parents continued to work even after he made it big, but he finally convinced them to settle down and live a life with complete financial freedom. Luke had a very normal childhood. He wasn't zipping around in any fast cars. His popular cover of Fast Car was inspired by his father playing the original from Tracy Chapman while driving his Ford F-150. Rhonda and Chester are superheroes to Luke in his own words. He is grateful for everything he learned from them and the most important lesson he learned was treating others the way you want to be treated. So maybe that's the reason why when his lawyer sued a fan for selling his tumblers just trying to make ends meet, Luke stepped in the moment he got to know about this. He immediately got the case dropped and offered help to his fan. Luke's parents did a great job raising him, and he intends to pass on the same values to his two sons. Is Luke Combs the most real and grounded country music star out there right now? Let us know in comments, and please do hit the like and subscribe buttons before you go.